How's it going everyone? We are back. I believe this is the eighth podcast that we are filming. And as you notice, it is just me right now. I am outside Khan's crib and I'm just waiting for him to come out. I'm deciding to do something a little bit more unique in that I just did it a little bit before Khan arrives, but I hope you guys are doing well. I know the lighting's not the best, but hopefully you're just listening to this in the background while you're doing something actually important. And, um, yeah, it's not like our faces are worth looking at. Unless your name is Colin Kim, then looking at him would definitely be worth it. But, enough of the flattery. Yeah, it's just you and me for now. You see, you'll be out soon. But, yeah. Right now it is a Sunday evening. I just got back from hanging out in the little Bible study thing. And yeah, I'm here. Had a great day today. Woke up early. Uh, yeah, practiced on the worship team. Then had the service at Woodbridge Community Church. Great church, by the way. Link in the description. Then after that, we got Filipino food. Me and the fam. Then after that, me, Colin, and Christopher Mazuka went to Planet Fitness. And we saw a lot of people that we recognized, which was very interesting. Uh, well, at least I recognizing. Colin recognized. But afterwards, we went to the Bible study thing. And yeah, it was a. I would say it's a smaller showing, considering there would be like double to triple the amount of people that would normally be there. But yeah, it was a very nice experience for sure. Had a lot to talk about. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I guess I can go more into detail when Colin gets here, but. Also, if you're watching this, this is probably phoned way in advance. Oh, I think I see Colin. Yeah, I see him. He's in the back somewhere, walking down the stairs. But you're going to see this a few weeks after it's out. Because today is the 3rd of July, which is two days before camp. So, yes. If you have been keeping up with the series, you would know that the Chick-fil-A episode was... The episode before this one, and I hope you guys enjoy that one because it was a different type of video, and I think it was more interactive. So comment down below if you like that, if we should keep it the same or just mix it up. But where's this guy? I literally just saw him walk down the stairs. Okay, you know what? I don't know where he is. Hopefully, you can find me. But I'm literally right outside his house. So. Mm-hmm. I'm tired, honestly. Long day. Been waking up early. Sleeping late. Even though I want to sleep early. But of course, we'll save the nitty gritty for when Cohen gets here, if he gets here. But I guess this is the segment in which I get to talk for once. I know Cohen has that really deep philosophical, motivational stuff in mind, but. I want to see if I can hold my own, you know? Yeah, last week, um, when we filmed the podcast, it was kind of cool just talking about everything we talked about. We talked about Chick-fil-A being one of the best fast food chains. And it was funny because if you watched that podcast, you would hear that I said a comment to a Chick-fil-A employee, pretty much, about me liking Popeyes more. Now, if you want to see the reaction, video is on our channel, but honestly, she didn't really react much. But, yeah, Chick-fil-A is a good place to eat, for sure. It's a little pricey, but I guess you get what you pay for. Mm-hmm. I'm really excited for camp, though. Honestly, I need this spiritual rejuvenation. But I think a lot of that has to do with me being, I guess, kind of not really forced, but heavily influenced to commit to reading the Bible, fellowship, worship, all that stuff. And 
ultimately this is gonna push me for the better hands down i'm hoping this is a great experience normally it's five days but it's gonna be four days smaller group too normally it's a couple dozen this time around it's only 19 including the leaders so yeah i'm looking forward to this it's gonna be great i'm hoping I'm gonna bond with friends make deeper friendships with other friends too <sighs> mm -hmm. looking forward to it because normally i don't have that sensation of I guess a wow factor when it comes to events it doesn't really hit in my mind that it's happening until I'm a day in yeah but I'm glad you're here by the way watching this video if you made it this far comment down hi uh, no I'm just kidding don't, don't actually comment that we'll have a proper keyword at the end but Let's see, the hat look good? I don't know, you can't even see it. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna see if Colin said anything. Colin, alright, be out soon. And that was 10 minutes ago. Let me just send a message. Simple capital K. There we go. I'm pretty sure I saw him go down the street. Not the street, what am I saying? The stairs. Maybe he. I don't know, but maybe I should turn the lights on for him to say. Yeah, but just hope you're doing well. I see a lot of baby rabbits here. They're kind of cute. I have rabbits at home, but I need to spend more time with them for sure. They're kind of feisty. Oh, recently, actually, should I talk about this now? I think I should, okay. Even though Colin would want to hear my recap, I'm just going to say it. So, today's the 3rd of July, and a couple days ago, rather a few actually, June 30th, it was my birthday, so I had a great day. I think that may have been one of my greatest days of 2022. Okay, hold up. I will temporarily pause this because Colin is calling me right now. And I'll get back to what I need to say when he's here. Okay, so I was right about that being Colin Kim. Yeah, we're, we're already in the podcast. Oh. Yeah, I was just talking okay. for like six minutes <laughs> six on my minutes? own. Six minutes. Yeah, I had to stop it when you were calling me, but oh, I'm glad okay. he's here. Glad to see you. I was just getting around to talk about my birthday and what we did that day. Yeah. <clears throat> and essentially, I woke up, I'd say around 6.40 that day, because I needed to pick up this guy. Right. And left at 7, picked him up by like 7.15. And then what we did afterwards is we switched cars. So we took the Camry um, to pick up Colin, and then we transferred to our new car to drop off my sister, sister to uh, summer school at Calvary Chapel. And then after that, we met up with our friend, Adam Stanley. Great guy. And he bought my pancakes. He did. He treated, I think, pretty much everyone out to IHOP that day. Yeah, yeah he's a cool guy. Um, we've known each other for around, I want to say, almost three years. Probably three years. Yeah, over three years now. Well, almost three years. I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, he was cool. I haven't seen him since last November, around Thanksgiving break time. Mm. So it was really great seeing him. We're going to hang out in the future. And if you watch my videos, you might see him in upcoming selections. So stay tuned for that. Patch Potato link in description. And then, um, yeah, we decided to go to IHOP. And what did you order again? You got the, the platter? What was that? I just got the regular. Like the, just the combo, two, pan, two buttermilk. With uh, two strips of bacon, eggs. Well, uh, it's pancakes too. Yeah, pancakes. Two oil, uh... And then Colin and I got pancakes, which we totally could have split, but we each got our own. And then Adam got something else, like another platter thing. But yeah, we had good conversation, just talking about 
college and school and how certain certain individuals like uh, lacked certain luxuries, I guess, in their respective areas. So, for instance, um, Adam goes to Emory Riddle, which is in Prescott, Arizona, and he was saying how they don't have boba there. No way they'd have to go to Phoenix, which is like an hour and a half away from there to get boba. Mm-hmm. Whereas in, in Irvine, you know, we're spoiled. Yeah, it's funny. He was saying that uh, he knew a guy who was doing like an underground boba shop in his own <laughs> room. So that was kind of interesting to hear. And no, then no boba in Arizona. Huh? Hey, we gotta open one up. Yeah. But it was kind of cool actually, because um, at the kind of near the end, right? Like, remember those ladies? Like the, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You want to yeah. elaborate on that? Yeah. So um, there were these ladies sitting behind us, and after they finished their meal, one of them came up to us and basically uh, told us like. God bless you, you're, um... Godly, like, man. Yeah, you're god, like, godly young man. You know, just keep staying, staying true and yeah. faithful to God, basically. And I don't know if they, um, they heard us praying earlier. I guess so. Because like, we, we were also talking about... It was about, just a coincidence, but... I think you know, I also mentioned, like, we were talking about, like, Pastor David and stuff. Great guy. Great guy. I don't know exactly what I said about him. We said good things, though, Pastor David. We did, we did. But... Yeah, they're like, they're elderly, you know, like, uh, I don't want to say the age, you know, because I don't even know, but, yeah, they're like, oh, we'd, we've enjoyed, like, hearing your guys' conversations, like, they kind of like, eavesdropped a little bit, and I, I, I remember I said something, like, during, like, just our conversation, mm-hmm. and then, like, I, I looked over, and I could see one of the women laughing oh. at what I said. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad we can. I guess it's cool, like, yeah, how, yeah. like you know, just God. bring positivity to people's yeah. days too. Like yeah. God used like, that, like, to yeah, yeah. I guess to give kind of like encouragement and hope for like our generation too. Yeah. Like to show them that there's still good in this world, and God will ultimately uh, prevail. If I'm being honest. Oh, uh, do we want this closed or? Yo, the, the ominous. Yo, wait, clo- <laughs> close the door. That's basically the nice way of saying close the door. Here, yeah, wait, let me open this real quick. Uh, the car, because it's kind of hot in here. Oh, oh, here's my key. Good Camry, guys, Camrys, Toyota in general, great car company. All right, but hey, I'm glad we're meeting. You know, it's been a good three days since I've seen you, which yes, to some people, like, that's not too much. Um, what up, just people? Let me just close it. No, actually. Did one of them say call it? Bro, it, 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 it sounded like something. Hey yo, sus. Hey, what's this open your window? I'm, I'm gonna get kidnapped. Hold on. Hey, I'll box them for you. Uh, I mean, you got your own skills too. Yeah. What were, you, what were you saying? In all oh, three days. Yeah. We were saying, oh, yeah, Have three you days. Told them about uh, that little birthday gift. Oh, I'm getting to that. I was kind of. Let's see. I stopped the IHOP, huh? Hey, yo. It's. But um. Yeah, it's the 4th of July tomorrow, so oh, right. people are just, like, tomorrow. hanging oh, out. I see they're carrying the, the coolers and the towels, and it's going to be a great day tomorrow. I think I'm going hiking tomorrow. Dude, how did they come by so fast? Dude, what that's crazy. Think, man? Dude, Dude, it's man. my, uh... When did we even start this podcast? I want to say, like, two months ago. Two months. Minimum. Yeah. Probably longer ago, but... Hey, I'm glad you guys are sticking by. Really appreciate the support, and, um... Anyways, after IHOP, we went to Marshall's, and I was trying to keep a strict schedule because we had to pick up my sister at 12, but yeah. I will get to that. But yeah, Marshall's was cool. We actually got some neat clothing. I found a tank top and really cool shorts. 
And did you buy anything? No, I was. I, uh, I wanted to, but like I, I didn't want to spend money either. Cause you were thinking about that shirt. There were a couple what shirts shirt? and stuff, but you know, I'm trying to like save a bit right now. Cause and that's good too, cause you never know when you need the money. Mm-hmm. And um. Yeah, yeah, but I guess what I will say about Marshalls is that it is a very nice store to buy clothes because it's affordable compared to other retailers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm just, uh, yeah. yeah go ahead. It's probably my second, like, my second time going to Marshalls. I usually go to, like, more, like, Ross, Goodwill type of... Ross is like, good, too. Cheaper stores, you know? So, yeah. It was nice. It was nice. And then uh, afterwards, we... Well, during that time, we met up with our friend Lucas. We might have to bring him on the pod soon. Mm. Uh, yeah. Lucas, and then we went to South Coast Plaza, which is a great out outlet. No, it's mm. it's like a mall, huh? And but yeah, we went there and uh, we went to the Nike store, which is pretty cool. But what I really wanted to see was. And the jewelry, pretty much. Because, uh, uh, I think... When was it? We might have talked about this on the Harrison podcast, too. Like, like um, when we were at Tasty, remember? Yeah. So, well, I think we talked about it after. Yeah. We, we filmed, but I was saying, like, yo, I, I want a chain. And then I was like, yo, you just give me a chain for my birthday. So <laughs> Colin was like, all right, bae. I'm like, oh, shoot. Right? But, yeah, we went. And it was funny, too, because... We went to Nordstrom first, and they didn't really have what we were looking for. So we went to Macy's. And the first chain we looked at... Uh, <laughs> that was the rope one, right? Um, I think so. It was a pretty penny, too. Yeah. $1,000. Oh, that? Yeah, that one. <laughs> but, like, it was half off, so it would be, like, 500 And then we looked at another one. It was, like, what was it? It was, like, 200 after the discounts or something. But it was still a little too high. So we ultimately got it down to ninety, and we and then um, yeah, the boys bought me a twenty-inch Cuban link silver necklace. I think I do have it here. I don't know what the millimeter is though, like the size. It's like twenty-two point five. Right? It, it should you be can like, see it, um... but I've been wearing it every day. Yeah. Uh, let's see if I can take it off. But yeah, appreciate the boys. It was cool. And then after that, we went to Dane's, which was nice. So we got, um, uh, what's it, what, what was it called? Like, Chains, Canes, and... Oh, like, shit. Chains, Canes, and Gains. Gains, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't work out that day, but... Oh, well, actually, I did work out that day. I did swimming. Oh, like, right the blame. I know, and the... Um, no copyright. Maybe you can shine your flashlight on it. Dude, it brings. Look at that ice. Ice right there. The light? Ooh, wait, actually, though. Actually? What if what if you made it pointed more? Like, direct. Like, like tilt it. Other way. Oh, yeah. yeah we could, wait, is there a way to pull it? Here, I have a Mentos. I have a- oh, you have a kickstand. Yeah, actually, though. No. Like, uh, okay. Or, mm, maybe, yeah. sorry, guys. Or are we sorry? Maybe that can work. Something like that. Wait, hold on. What if I, like... Just kidding, sorry. am I doing? If you just went like, not blind, are you? <laughs> you're not blind I, well, already, I mean, yeah, people are going to look at this weird, but hey, people yeah. look at other people weird at the day. Jesus, you know? <laughs> Where am I? It's pretty... Bro, I got I to gotta knot it up right now. But it's pretty fresh. Pretty fresh. Thank you, by the way. No problem. Um, there's some people outside, so... I know. We're kind yeah. of timid. 
We're cool. We're Boy, chilling. We're cool. We cucumbers Just out here in this crib. Podcast in the car. Podcast in the car. Now we got the good lighting, though. Yeah, I like Just that. Just gotta get some, like, mics or something. Huh? Gotta, gotta get it crispy. Crispy audio. Yeah, I like the concept. I was telling them this, but I like the concept we did at Chick-fil-A. Oh, I'm sorry. Me, Andrew, Josiah did. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Bro did it without me. Yeah, it did. Can we talk about that for a second? So basically, this guy... Oh, wait, he's this, just busy. This would be like the. He's just busy. Right, right. Wait, this would be the second, like, podcast or like third podcast I wasn't in. in. Yeah, this sounds about. Yeah. Yeah, but that's okay. You know, you're here now. This is a long time in the making. And I mean, we filmed like a few weeks ago too, so that's fine. But right. <clears throat> yeah, he's he's just doing his own thing, which is fine. But. No, I had no patience. Bro, I told you the time, fool. You, true, but like, I was at Spectrum. Why are you, okay, why are you at Spectrum, though? Like, I told you, like, the day before we were doing this. Yeah, but I didn't expect to not be home at that time, technically. Yeah. So. Did you go to French Spectrum? Yes. Alright. Should have brought him on. Bring him on next time. It's true. Yeah. Chick fil A, though. Chick fil A. It was like. I think you're gonna like that episode. It's very different. It's not a sit down. Well, it is a sit down, but did you guys? Eat? It's like a vlog thing. We do we do some ASMR mukbang okay, type okay, stuff. Okay. okay, let's go back to my timeline though. Um, yeah, after after shopping for the chain, uh, I picked up my sister and we talked a little to uh, one of our teachers oh, who yeah. we had at Calvary. Yeah, Mr. Francis. Mr. Francis, shout out to Mr. Francis, great guy. And then after that, I chilled at home for an hour. And then I coached for four hours, and within that time, I was able to practice too. And that was a hard swim practice. But mm. normally we have five days of practice. That week we had four because we wanted like a, an extra long four day weekend for Fourth of July. Oh nice! So it was the last day, and then my mom and dad brought a lot of Costco food. It was amazing, like four rotisserie chickens, five pizzas, spaghetti, pasta, like two big. Uh, containers of Hagen Dazs, and then like Cokes and Shastas, like the whole shebang cookies, too. And they're only like, I mean, they're like 20 people, but it was a lot. I was kind of, I was like, oh, that's a lot of food. I could have invited so many more people, but we got rid of it, so that's good. Oh, wait, was this, this was all for your birthday? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I was yeah, like, I bro. Mean, like, oh, yeah, like we had enough. We want like a dirty bulk, you know, like. Bro. Speaking of that, though, like the day after, um, it was a beach day, and we wanted to look good, so me, Colin, Nico, Gabby, Sammy, shout out to everyone there. Yeah, we went to Planet Fitness after dropping off my sister. You guys didn't set off the bunk alone, right? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, that's good. Uh, yeah. But yeah, for my birthday, like it was a, it was a pretty good day, as I was saying earlier. Maybe one of the best birthdays I've had. And, um, yeah, I guess you can get a lot done when you plan ahead, right? When you plan ahead, you can, you can attend things that you want to attend and not miss out on opportunities. When you plan it when you plan ahead. It ahead. Like so planet maybe planet fitness, plan it, plan it fitness you know, okay? Like, uh, Look at that, the wordplay. We've evolved. We're making puns. We're having fun making puns because puns hey, are fun. Beatbox, beatbox right now? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay. Yeah, but after after the swim practice, I went to worship practice, and that was it. But it was fun, and I had a great time. But the day after, yeah, dude, I had I don't know what was with me the following day. I think it was because I didn't get too much sleep the night before, because understandable reasons. But I just didn't drive the best. Like I missed. I missed. Uh, like I drove over some like white lines and then I went the wrong, I went to the wrong freeway. The and day after the beach day? No, this was the beach day. Oh. But thankfully we were all safe. And then after Planet Fitness, we picked up Joyce and then went oh, to JO Newport. Too? Not J.O. He, oh. he was working at Jersey Mike's. Oh, nice. Yeah, he has a job nice. there now. The but, worst subways. <laughs> I mean, uh, eh. 
I haven't had it in a while, but I, I mean, some ways they're kind of, they're kind of like lower tier, though. Like, if I'm being honest, McDonald's better. Just saying. Anyways, mm -hmm. besides the point, besides hey, besides the point though, <laughs> thankfully, uh, parking, even though it was very hectic, we were able to find one. The Lord provided, and <laughs> Jehovah Jireh, my provider. Mm. Yeah, but it was at 18th Street, so I drove through 18th Street, couldn't find any parking in the little alley. Drove through 17th, couldn't find any. 16th, um, like we pulled out, turned, went down a little bit, and as we were going, we saw a car exit. Mm -hmm. So like, just like right before we were going to pass it, or like two cars before we were going to pass it, it just exited out. So we are like, oh shoot. So we got a parking, and... Oh, wait, this was at the beach. This was at the beach, yeah. So if we didn't find that parking, like, we would have been delayed big time. Yeah. And we would have had to park way farther. Yeah, so but that was a plus. Conveniently, or actually kind of cool, actually, uh, we were... So if we were here, right, Pastor David parked right here. Like, he just parked <laughs> in. So, like, we saw him and Lauren and the kids. Uh, yeah, the other kids uh, came as well. Yeah, we saw them, and thankfully the parking was only four bucks, or less than four bucks for four hours. Yeah, and then, let's see, at the beach, it was fun. I got sunburned, actually. I realized why I was sore, like, two days ago. Turns oh. out I got sunburned in the back of my back. I think I just, got, it, like, it didn't hurt that much, it was just sore. I think, I didn't, I didn't go to the beach today, but I think I did uh, get sunburned, like, a little on my shoulders, so... Mm -hmm. I can relate with that struggle. Yeah, it was fun. We saw like crabs on the beach. Crabs? Like little, oh, little yeah. Like little crabs for like I haven't seen them on that beach. Uh, so that was the first time Newport, for me right? at Newport, yeah. And then Miko lost his sunglasses, unfortunately. Really? Yeah, in the ocean. Dude, I lost. <laughs> Same thing happened to me. <laughs> like um, I I went out like like two days ago. No, like. Yeah, like two days ago, two days ago, and um, I also lost my sunglasses. Like they, I was climbing, or I was like jumping on rocks and stuff, and then they, like they were hanging on, on my collar and they fell out, like between them, and there was no way I could grab them. So they just like, they're also gone in the ocean probably. So I hate when that happens because uh, I got my friend's funny. frisbee. Lost at sea, essentially. They were like 16 bucks, too, so it's like, they didn't last long. I didn't have them for... Probably it happens, like, you know. Like, they would have broken anyway, right? Like, probably. Or not. Maybe. He could have had it until he was old. <laughs> have you had Handles before? Handles ice cream? I think, like, once. Dude, I didn't know. I didn't know Handles like was there. Cold stone. Or dude, it's it's like the ice cream cool, by the dude. sea, like an nice. ice cream place. It, dude, it's. Have you tried afters? Yeah. yeah. Dude, that place is good, but like, Handles was super good. I like it better than Cold Stone, honestly. And Cold Stone's really good as well. But I, I'll put up a picture here of what I got. If I remember, we'll see. Right here. It's probably not gonna. Remember. Probably not gonna remember. <laughs> I hope I do though, cause. I got a large ice cream cone. That thing was like eight nine bucks with like the tax. It was super good. Wait, eight nine bucks. And it was like, but it was Dude, huge though. Okay. It was huge. Though. Oh wait, it was the picture you sent, right? Like the yeah five six. Yeah. Six. Like for for it being next to the beach too. I yeah, think that's, that's a decent price. Like eight bucks. Especially considering there's alternatives like Cold Stone, mm -hmm. which I think isn't worth the money compared to Handles. Handles, dude. Handles was so good. I got the blueberry cobbler. And I got what's called the Ori dough, which is basically mm -hmm. like Oreos and cookie dough ice cream. Yeah. <clears throat> but I, I really like the blueberry cobbler. So if I go there next time, uh, I might switch it up or I might get the same thing. Because um, my mentality going into it was like to experiment a little bit. But yeah, I was really impressed with it. And I didn't even know it was there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was that like your first time? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's cool. Like, first time having it, I, I think. But it was super good. My glasses are getting a little uncomfortable, so I'll just... Hey, let, me wear, let me wear it. Let me wear it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He has his, <laughs> yeah, like, own I, I have like. similar glasses to this, but these feel better quality. 
Get some smoke. Hey guys. Yeah, I'm. Like this happening, man? I'm also like a little tired for this episode too, like the last one. So I'm tired too, man. Like I woke up early. Forgive my. We, we can cut a little short, energy. maybe like another fifteen minutes. Yeah. But handles, dude. Handles S tier ice cream. Thank you, Pastor David, for the hookup. You know he he sponsored that little quest. Me and Gabby. Oh yeah, you got it. Ice cream. We had a. Our showing was small, like we didn't have too many people, but we all had fun. And then afterwards, should I even talk about this? Afterwards, you know, I'm, hey, you didn't hear from me, but uh, Jail was done with his shift, so we decided to pick him up. And this camera can only see five people, oh, including yeah. me, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Colin already knows what I'm going to say. It was me, Joyce, Miko, Gabby, and Sammy, five people already. Jill's like, you know what? How about I go in your trunk? <laughs> so we literally just stashed them in the trunk for 10 minutes. And then we went to Kane's. Yeah. yeah. But like, it was funny because in the back, it's oh, very sensitive you, to movements. Like in the you trunk. Do still have like stuff in it? Oh, I cleared it out the night before. Oh, like okay. cleared out like at least half the stuff. Maybe even two thirds of the stuff. Yeah. But yeah, I try, I try to make it a little bit more clean. If you want, you can check it out after, but it's not as bad as it was a few days ago. Yeah, I feel like your whole car is kind of cleaner, too. Yeah, well, because, cleaner. you know, we had people here, we got to impress. But what's important is not only being clean on the outside, but being clean on the inside. That reminds me um, of the story when Jesus rebuked the Pharisees. They're like, he was like, woe to you because you don't, you only clean the outside of the bowl when you Dude. leave like the inside dirty or something like it's, that. So. It's it's kind of crazy you mentioned that because that's actually what we talked about at Pastor David's house today. Oh really? Yeah. Dude, really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Like we literally read that passage. Really? Yeah, we were talking about like hypocrites and uh, uh, like all the woes. Dude, different. yes, yes. Yeah. Like, I read, like... Wait, dude, that, no way, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. And, like, it was really fascinating because, like, I forgot the chapter. Maybe it was... What what book of the Bible was it? Bro. Matthew? Yeah, Matthew, like, 13. It, I, I forgot what chapter, but, like, verse 14 or something? Like, some Bibles omit verse 14 from, like, the specific chapter. Hmm. So, like, I thought it was pretty interesting. Do you know what that verse says? It's, it's basically, like, the same thing. Oh. It's, like, it, yeah. But we were just talking about, like, when you would use it or if Jesus was right to say that. I mean, the obvious answer is yes because he's God. But we were just trying to think about, like, the motivation and when it would be right for us to kind of rebuke people. Right, just, right. like, to that extent. Yeah, because, yeah. like, like, it was specifically targeted to the Pharisees mm -hmm. and, and like, you know, the Bible says an open rebuke is better than hidden love. So we know that Jesus even rebuked the Pharisees, Pharisees out of love. So it's like, um, you know, like one would be the right situation, right time, right person, all those different factors mm -hmm. to consider, like for when you would have to go to that length to rebuke someone for like a particular sin they're doing mm -hmm. compared to like if you could be more like passive or just like seemingly like more gracious with like how you approach because like singing. yeah speaking about like being gracious and stuff it was also um a point made in which you know the verse is like um why are you like blah 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 speck of like in someone's eye when you have a whole plank of yeah, yeah. plank in your own eye like you there's like a time and a place i think but we were just talking about when that would be, you know? So, I mean, I think we settled on just, like, it being a similar situation. Yeah. Yeah. Especially, like, we're going to get political here. But, like, like, the progressive churches and stuff, just, like, knowing where to draw the line. Yeah. You know? And, yeah. Yeah, just, um, like you said, like, keeping people in check and, uh, Re lovingly rebuking people but we're also saying it could be hard to um accept like, it 
too. Like, if you're on the re- other end, like, like people right. are rebuking against you because they're saying and, it was, like, a pride thing. Yeah, 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 and, like, even if someone doesn't, like, like, even if you you rebuke someone and they don't accept it or, like, they take it harshly or or offensively, that doesn't necessarily mean, like, you did the wrong thing in that scenario, e- scenario either. Like, that person's response doesn't mean, like, you necessarily did something wrong, but... You know, like, maybe sometime in the future they, like, consider what you said more and, like, realize they're wrong or something. But, you know, it's just, like, you, like, um, but, like, at the same time, like, depending on the person and, like, the specific circumstances, if you rebuke someone, it could make them, like, more, like, turn Mm -hmm. even more away, you know? Yeah, so it it really depends. Like, you have to use a lot of wisdom. And the way that you guys should do that. But yeah, sorry guys. I think like I'm more tired than last Bro, time. no one can tell. No one can <laughs> really? tell. This is, like, we were talking about this earlier, remember? Like, no, like, yeah. brain, like I'm drinking a lot of sugar too. It's, like, it's fine. I'm having fun. Dude, literally. Sh- dude, that was, it was my first time going to like the, the special Bible study for the big kids. First time? First time. It was good. Tonight? It was just me, uh, Kathleen, Chris. And then. Do you look though? He was pretty energetic. Oh, really? Yeah. I guess the first time I've seen him, like... <laughs> Pastor David knows this, but, like... Yeah, it's the first time I've seen him, like, energetic and yeah. interactive. He has, like, a lot of monster truck, car, like, toys, right? You know? I guess so. Rowley's cool, too. I like Rowley. Great guy. Great guy. <laughs> Great guy. And then, uh, yeah, I kind of like the way we just went about the whole thing, you know, with the the prayer i think the 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 question was like what what in your life do you need healing from or you you are healing from yeah i i like like i like those me i like those meetings because they've been like super not only like interactive yes and personal, but like with the questions but also like deeper to get like a discussion going out of it and like yeah it, they're, they're a mix of like personal and like real like um relative to just like general topics so. yeah it was, just, it was it was different like mm-hmm. it was a different vibe i like that uh and then after we prayed for each other yeah we just went into it mm-hmm. yeah it was, it was cool we did that for like an hour and a half and then we played like a game what did you guys have for dessert uh red velvet red velvet mm-hmm. it's cool i ate a slice I was like, you know, I gotta, I gotta reward myself for going to the gym today. Yeah, I went with Chris. Yeah. Dude, we saw, we saw, we saw Donna there, and then we saw, we saw a lot of people that like we recognized. Wait, which kind of fitness? District. Did I was, you, I was surprised to see her. I, I didn't wait like in her I, one. Yeah. I didn't even know there was a. It's Sussan. It's Sussan. I didn't even know there the was district. one like nearby. But these three cool. Wait, I saw, I saw a friend from Sussan. Uh, Branca and no, no, I mean, like, so you know, um, not the marketplace, not the marketplace. yeah, yeah, Jamboree and Branca. I've, I don't think I've been there too many times, dude. So. Hey, let's go sometime. District, district, is that, is that a mall? The the district, maybe that strikes you fancy. Like, I you re- know where the I Costco re- is? Yeah, it's like there, so. it's there, yeah. like where the AMC is, I've been Costco, to, I've Target. Been, yeah, I've been. That area. Yeah, it's like that vicinity. And it was cool. Dude, I but like it's just crazy. I just been like seeing people that I know just go like the other day too, like I saw this, another person from Swim and yeah, it was just crazy. But Planet Fitness though, like no, it's not bad. I like it. Yeah, I don't I don't agree with some of the things they stand for. And um but I mean it's just it's good. In terms of like a clean facility, nice equipment, the lunk alarm though, like just one of the things I don't agree with. Like, yeah, like I'm just gym, trying. Gyms I'm trying to libraries, be my very you know? best. Like, gyms are made for like energy and like, like that's that the passion, whole purpose of the passion. gym. Like if I'm trying to push myself, you like, don't need like an, an alarm to like restricting you. Yeah, like, like I I felt bad you like, be, like 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 weary or aware. Of like in a alarm that might. Wait, what is this? Oh, 
He's oh, pointing at a around? crack. Yeah, like a yeah, little yeah, pebble yeah, right. oh. cracked this like a few years ago. Yeah. But it was cool. I like it. Um, I went three times so far in like a week. It was mm. nice. Tuesday, Thursday. Uh, oh, Tuesday, Friday. I'm sorry. Tuesday, Friday, Sunday. Yeah. And then last Monday, I also did something at home. Mm -hmm. And I've been swimming consistently. Yeah. So, how was your week, by the way? Man, pretty... What, what day is it? Like, Tuesday? Sunday. Sunday? <laughs> Sunday. Oh, speaking of Tuesday. Next Tuesday. You know you know what day that this is? This upcoming Tuesday. This upcoming Tuesday. Yes, I told... I felt them in a little bit, but it camp? is camp. Dude, Pine this Valley? is... This is crazy. Camp Who's already. Going? There's, there's going to be... There's going to be 19 people total. Oh, dude. Okay. According to PD. So, us two... Ronnie, we're already half the team. <laughs> like, all right. Chris, Jacob, Adam, Ga Gabby. Solid, solid. Solid. Hopefully you have a great time. It's pretty fire. But if it's anything like our discussion today, like, it's going to be pretty lit. That spiritual rejuvenation. Yeah. And I was telling the audience earlier about um, just the experience of camp and how it really kind of highly encourages you to get into that zone of worship just reading your bible like fellowship like yeah. you're kind of forced in a way like, to participate in that and i think that's what really that aids in the sparks, experience sparks of fire yeah. that's what kind of this soul. yeah because there's a difference between um like before camp after camp but like especially during camp like during camp and then after camp, there's like that spiritual high. And then in the um, following weeks, it's just like lower and lower. And yeah. I think that's just because um, people aren't actively engaged in fellowship. They're not engaged in worship, prayer, reading the Bible. And I think all those elements just combine to just like the walk, you know, the spiritual walk. And... If you don't have those elements, then of course you're not going to experience it, you know. You're not going to grow. You're not going to grow. You're just going to be complacent. You're going to be lukewarm. And I think that's kind of what I, I've i been, I guess, like, I, I've kind of been lukewarm. i got to be honest, but like, that's how it's gotta it was. Change. It's um, got to change. And that's how it was for this year for me, like, after I went to a camp, um, <clears throat> I was like, like, I just had that, like, spiritual high in the beginning for the first couple months, and, like, um, or, well, yeah, first, like, first couple months and stuff, but I just find myself as of lately to be more, um, yeah, I guess just more lukewarm or, like, less, uh, spiritually, like, active or yeah you know like just i don't have that like that high has gone like lower and lower than it should be it's, it's just like hard to try to and that's the thing it's not like your spiritual walk's not going to be a constant high and you're not going to be like always like oh i need a like like that's not the goal of um walking with god it's not like okay i'm today i'm gonna try to like because your spirit, like, your spiritual state isn't based off of your feelings. Like, even if you don't feel like you're on this spiritual high, it doesn't mean you're not actually close with God. Because there are going to be days where you're, like, not feeling it. You're just, you don't want to, you don't feel like reading the Bible or praying. Or just, um, you're, like, feeling more tempted in your flesh. But, you know, so it's, like, important not to chase unrealistic goals, you know, because... Like, at the end of the day, the goal is not to have the spiritual high. It's going to be to, like, whether you're really, like, following God or not. Whether you're really, like, walking in His ways and being faithful to Him. So, that's uh, my little word of encouragement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's just, lately it's been hard for me to try to get out of that state that that, you know... I feel like I'm in, so hopefully this camp is gonna like really 
give me what I need to hear and like help me with uh, what I need in my soul to grow. So, you know, but yeah. So, I mean, back to your original question, how is my week? Um, it was tiring. Uh, I was sleeping over like a friend's house for the past, like, or in the beginning of this week, like for like four or five days in a row. So I'm glad to be back home now, you know. Um, it was fun. It was great. Cool seeing this guy for his birthday. Uh, yeah, but like not too much going on. Just uh, just chilling, using my phone way more than I should. You know, just like watching YouTube shorts and stuff all day. But yeah, how was your week? Pretty eventful. Yeah, coaching right. birthday. Looking forward to that and. It did not disappoint. I got a lot done. I spent a lot of time with family, friends. Uh, Stranger Things season four. You know, mm -hmm. I had to finish up volume two. It's pretty eventful. Yeah. Hey guys, um, if you would would not mind, please feel free to drop like uh, suggestions for topics on the podcast because i feel like lately we've just kind of doing it like freestyle you know just talking about like summaries of what's been going on in mm -hmm. our lives and there's nothing wrong with that but i just feel like we could have like a little more structure with talking about specific things for the episodes you know so if you guys have any any ideas um feel free to drop them down below not a request. And, yeah, but, like, even if we do get, like, recommendations, like, we can still use, like, the first couple minutes or so to, like, talk about uh, what's been going on with us, too. So, like, it doesn't have to be so, like, structured either, you know. But just, you know, more ideas if you guys want. For real. Quick question, like... How long do you have this for? <laughs> Look at this. Like, <laughs> a couple weeks, or like like a month. Where'd you get so. it at? I didn't actually buy it. My friends got it. For, I mean, no, no, my parents got it from their friends. So, um... Trippy. Kind of like family friends, so... I just... They just had it, and or like, yeah, they like produce it, or... My parents' uh, friend is like a... A designer or so, something something in the fashion industry so they just had like these lying around I guess so just got it I think it's by like that Japanese artist I forgot his name but like the one that Kanye West likes or something yeah. something like um yeah I, I forgot his name but there's just this Japanese artist Kanye West likes who like designs the sunflower type of clothing and stuff so hmm would you say completely different direction but talking about this earlier if you're in a bible study would you say that you are an agreeable person or a disagreeable person like, how would you like put the percentage at for each what do you mean by agreeable so agreeable in, in terms of um I guess um Disagreeing with people's statements, how they view life, and I guess it could be negative in the sense that you just agree for the sake of agreeing to avoid conflict, and then disagreeing. I I think it would be a little bit more negative, uh, in the sense that, um, in the very extreme case, you would be just doing it for the sake of stirring trouble mm. or causing conflict. But in in your because like what I said was, it depends, like who I'm with. The time, the environment. Uh, yeah. How are you? I think, um, I don't know if I could really, like, put a percentage on it, but, like, from the definitions you described, it's not, like, a good thing to be too agreeable or too disagreeable. And I'd say, like, 
there's definitely been times that like I've agreed with something just for the sake of not of like wanting to please that person and not like do anything for them to like uh dislike me or whatever so sometimes I've like tried to be agreeable even when like it was something I really disagreed with or um I've been disagreeable because like maybe there's just something I didn't like personally like about someone and I just like created an unnecessary conflict just because like like that went further past our like views on something but um I'd say mm -hmm. overall I'm probably like it really does depend on the topic and like people but um I think like I I'm able to be agreeable in the right circumstances and disagreeable in others but um I think like when it comes down to like moral topics for example or like biblical things there's just like no question on that like you either agree with the whole bible or you disagree you know and like topics controversial things like lgbtq or abortion um uh, like those are no question you know like those are mm -hmm. sh those should be like very disagree like anything that has to do with god like and you know is like true or right like there's no question that like you either agree or disagree and so with like those kind of things lgbt like um like those are things that like since it's not like um since it's not like those since those are sinful things condemned in the bible like those are to be disagreed with you know and i'd say like speaking on like that kind of topic sometimes it can be hard to like disagree even like even though you really disagree deep down inside it can be hard to express that outwardly if like you're facing high high pressure situations or you just like don't want to displease the person and that's something like i've been learning how to or like that's something i know that i've been learning how to like needing to learn how to handle better just um handling like like if i know that someone's wrong or if if there's just something that like i personally disagree with just knowing how to like stand up for what i believe in like more boldly instead of like cowering back because like out of fear that they they might like view me differently or dislike me because of a certain thing I, I say or do or believe you know so I want to like be able to to really like not like aggressively push forth like my beliefs but then like be able to stand up for them like with boldness in the right circumstances and occasions you know so just like that but um mm -hmm. i mean like speaking of abortion i'm sure like all of you or a lot of you know roe v wade overturned um you have any thoughts on that um hmm. glad that you brought it up um I think, I think people, I'm going to get canceled for this, just kidding, I don't know, I think it's getting kind of out of hand in terms of, like, reactions from people, because, like, like, you know, people are, like, rioting and stuff, from what I hear, but, See, honestly, like, like, yeah, it's not like, like, it's a wonderful thing, it's a great thing that it's been overturned, but even... So, like, I think people on the left are probably overreacting because, like, state, it's it's going down to state level now. So, like, states still have the choice to yeah. legalize it or not. And even, like, before Roe v. Wade, too, like, that's how it was, you know. So, it's just undoing that. But people are like, oh, it's a step back and 
Like, I think it was like, it's who was it? Michelle Obama or Obama? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, just step I back, bro. Yeah. Bro, like, I don't care. Yeah, like, I, <laughs> saw, I saw some people from like school, their Instagram stories okay, reposting. Yeah. Like, they're all like, oh, more uh, people use like arguments, like, you know, like the people exceptions. Have, like, more and, gun like, control over yeah, women's yeah. rights. But, like, that's how they get you. They try to like make you think abortion's a good thing by labeling it under women's rights. When it's really murdering a child in the and it wasn't in the Constitution anyway. It, it's like, like yeah, you yeah. see how people take these different words and stuff, and, and like, ma- like replace their definitions with like they manipulate these labels and things to make it seem like it's really a good thing when it's not, you know. And and like who who would, wouldn't stand up for women's rights, right? Like it's like you're gonna be called a bigot and stuff like that if you are or if you don't. So it's like. It's really out of fear, too. They're pushing fear. Jared was right. <laughs> Jared was right. They're pushing, Shout like, to fear to spread their doctrines, the you agenda. Know? But it's... It's, like, it's crazy, because, like... It just seems like... Like, from our perspective, it's wrong. And, like... It's the right perspective, you know? I'm sorry. But, like... But, like... Evil, you know? People rejoice in that. I mean... Yeah. It's just, I mean, it does say it's a very dark time. Yeah, people mm-hmm. calling evil good and good mm. evil, like, like salt, you know, something like I bitter know, for yeah. sweet, sweet for bitter, and so and light for darkness, darkness for light. So it's like, people can't even see the difference between the two anymore. They're they're justifying these crazy things, and it's just sad, horrible to see, horrible horrible to see how far. Like the world has degenerated, and like just this nation too, and just um, it just testifies to our further need of like need of Jesus and need and like just testifies to the fact that he's coming back yeah. soon. You know, but like that that ties into what we were talking about earlier. What was that talking about earlier about being more agreeable or disagreeable? Like how. Like, for topics such as, like, you know, LGBTQIA, whatever it is, plus, like, you know, and abortion, like, is it really important to, would you place importance, like, talking against this? Or do you think it's just, like, very micro in the grand scheme of things? You know what, that's a great question. And that's something, like, I was talking about a little bit earlier, uh, like, a week ago or so um see it's like i think just like the fact of how they spread so much and like in the culture in recent times and just like social media everything like they're really like obviously pushing out these agendas and like making them like known and just pride month and all these all these different things that are like like um pushing out these two two sins as acceptable it's like um i'd say like in the grand scheme of things just because that just because they've like um expanded so far in today's like time and everything like they are relevant and like probably necessary to speak speak against in um different like scenario scenarios but like overall you know some some christians may like put it like too high of an importance to like go against whereas we need to focus more on like preaching the gospel or something you know it's like ultimately the goal of of like speaking against this and showing people that it's wrong is to lead them to jesus and like point them to the cross so like so they can get saved you know so like overall we know our goal as christians is to spread the gospel and like tell people the good news about the savior and for some christians like that may like look like um that like that focus and goal of that may get like um more just like fog, foggy from uh their them making like speaking against these different things 
like a more primary goal but then and then like others may like speak too little about it where they're too excuse me um where they're either like too accepting or too like like unspoken about it so it's just like it it's all about where your priorities are you know it's like are you going to prioritize the kingdom and working for being a good good and faithful servant or are you going to pri prioritize like like your own agenda or like pride or just um like your own goals putting them like above god or not and it's like it, it all goes like back to your motives of these things too you know like are you if you are gonna speak speak against these things which i agree that you should um but just like not overly important over like the gospel um if you are gonna speak against these things like are you do you have like the motives of like doing that so they can be led to christ or is it like just for them to be proven wrong or yeah. something oh yeah you know yeah so i agree it's just my two cents yeah that was good i i'm sorry i was just looking at this cup slurpee i haven't had a slurpee in a while it's not worth it 7-eleven day though i could get all three slurpees really yeah what, July 7th? I mean, July 11th. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, it's not worth it. It's too sugary. I'm probably gonna... Crash. Yeah. Alright, we should we should film, like, a, an episode where we just, like, Dude, should we film sleep? a camp ep... We Bro. Just, like, sleep, Wait, camp sleep episode, though. Episode. Camp <laughs> Yo, podcast? we should, we should. Or maybe yeah. we could record the discussion when yeah. we have it. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. You could, like, re even, like record the sermons and stuff, too. We'll see if my phone has enough memory. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna find the camcorder too. I think that would be crucial. Yeah. Really important. Importante in español is igual a important. In no, here's a good okay, question. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm ready. There was a question that like was brought up uh, to me a couple days ago. It's like, it, what would you say? How would you respond if someone came up to you? And told, like said Happy Pride Month or something, like Ooh. that's that got me thinking, you know, because that's like that is a hard question to think about, and like I, I didn't have like an immediate answer. Yo, like, yeah, I like, I have something off the dome right now. Yeah, I probably just smile, smile, just like you know when when talking to someone and you want the conversation to end, so you just oh. like you just like, mm -hmm. yeah. Like I, that goes that does go into what we were saying earlier about just like agreeing to like yeah or but in this case it wouldn't be like to get them to like you it would be to get them to leave yeah. <laughs> just like speed up things like hey, yeah, yeah. I think like sure a, sure I think like a crucial thing you have to consider when like like with that question is like. How, do you, how would Jesus respond to that if, like, mm. someone came up to him and said, like, Happy Pride Month? And it's like, you can examine what it says in the Bible, like, just with different examples of, like, when the Pharisees came up to him and asked him questions to try to, like, trick him or, or like, outsmart him and things like that. He, like, he, he bounced back with, like, a question of his own, like, to get them to, like, realize the futility of, the question they were asking or something so it's like like you know jesus would be able to like say his own thing you yeah know? you know it's just like, like actually this yeah i don't i don't have that it's intuition like a, it's a hard question to answer it is so, i mean like the only thing i could think of was would probably be like i don't know, like can i ask you why you support that or just something like that to get like a conversation going about it you know but I'm not really, like, because, like, you don't want to say, like, you don't want to be too, like, harsh where you're, like, like, where you're just going to totally, like, I guess, just push that per person away and, like, and represent, like, yourself as this, uh, like, hateful Christian or something, right? But then at the same time, you don't want to be too affirming and, like, like, um, be, like, too comfortable with, 
like yeah. this thing because it is a sin. So it's like, I just politely like get try to get a uh, like no, a get their views answered. on it. That, I guess that kind of thing, you know. Yeah, I don't think I would be too wise to ask that. I'd probably be like, okay. Yeah. I'd be like, wait, why'd you ask that? You think I'm gay or something? Like, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> but yeah, we're we're gonna get like five dislikes from like <laughs> the people in India I mean, good watching thing, this. Like, YouTube, I don't know. I'm sorry. YouTube, uh, YouTube YouTube doesn't care. Dislikes, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but like, I think I think we get a decent amount of likes. By the yeah. way, if you're watching this right now. What's our keyword? Uh, uh, Slurpee, probably, right? Slurpee. Slurpee. S-L-U-R-P-E-E. -E. If you made or it this far, shout either, out to you. Either Slurpee or hashtag Slurp Life. Yeah, but I'm down to let it roll on for another 10 minutes. Maybe we can make this the most... Long, we should, like... The longest should, like, pod on. so it's far. Been, oh, dude, it's already been an hour. It's already been an hour. Been an hour we should, we should like, make this... this the we longest. should just talk about something really interesting for the next 10 minutes or something. Mm -hmm. Like, what's, what's, like, the most... Okay, like, what's... Here, we should, like... We, okay, we should, we should, like, talk about something, like, ordinary, and then, like, try to find, like, spiritual analogies to it or something. Or, or... See, like... The car, the car we're sitting in, for example, right? It has a it's wheel, like, okay? It has a wheel. You know, like, Jesus take the wheel. But if know? the wheel breaks, you can't drive the There's car. There's no control in your life. It's like, it's like you, gotta, you gotta let God take control of that wheel and, like, bring you to the destination that you need to be. It's like, you know, you gotta take, you just gotta, like... Like, you're driving, you're out of gas, right? Yeah, the gas you don't have any is, gas, you can't drive. <laughs> the gas price is so high right now, right? So it's like, you need, like... If you're blind and you drive the car... Like, Jesus paid the <laughs> price, you know? So it's like... Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Just paid, Jesus paid the price, paying it real nice. His blood will suffice. Ooh. He's the sacrifice. Ooh. Call him looking nice. <laughs> yeah. The bar is pot potty with Harrison Tice. Ooh. Uh. Mmm. Something mm. that rhymes with lice. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Good guy. <laughs> Have you met him, though? Have you met him? And if so, will you box him? Just kidding. Yeah. You need to meet, but know, and follow. Me know, me know meet, and know, and follow. Because you know we... Meet no and follow. Meet no and follow. To heal the heart that is hollow. Hollow. Um. Make sure your faith isn't shallow. <laughs> oh, oh, uh. Mm. Bars. You know. Don't lie, you stole. You didn't borrow. <laughs> oh. You gotta mm. repent of that. Cause before be, and before you fall in sorrow. Oh, because you never know. There may not be a tomorrow. Ooh, Ooh. dude, that the bars though. We should make, we should make like this a is this is uh, what is this called? This is spoken. What was that poem spoken word? word? word poetry? Spoken word. Spoken word. Making like a cheese curd. Ooh. Uh. Mm hmm. When you're walking your dog, you have to pick up the turds. Mm. Mm. Fly away, call me a bird. Ooh. Call me the alphabet, because I'm making a word. Ooh. Jesus Christ, you know, the Bible is the word of God. Have uh, you heard? Have you heard of it? It's not a fraud. Julent book. If you don't know, you gotta take a look. We in the kitchen with these bars. Uh, we cook. Uh, like they're shaking the car. We're shook. 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 Buck. Look. Tuck. I don't know. F turning the hat. We in the char. We in the char. What the heck? <laughs> we in the car. Have a nice chat with the hat. With the cap. With the, the wrap. In the hat. The can a lot about that because you know he hey. doesn't know how to rap, but I don't know how to. Crap. 
crap on these people who don't know where the life is at. Ooh. Because they don't open the Bible, they can't read because they're illiterate, but you know they're never eh, they're illiterate. So they can't not. read, that's what they lack. Ooh. Oh kind of an end rhyme. Uh if you don't know what that is, then you, you just need to, might be slack in. then you're slack in the department of read then because you don't read the Bible, you are he then. Ooh. Just kidding. Or am I? Though. <laughs> you gotta go fast, but you gotta go slow. slow. We in the Camry 2000. And foe. <laughs> <laughs> this name was actually 2004. It's 2000. Oh. It's 2000, yo. Not 2000 and foe. I You're can go for some <laughs> foe. You, are, you already know. You already know if you go for some pho, pho. We cooking the stew in the Camry. That's our kitchen. Hey, we are making the podcast. You know that. You think you have a lot of knowledge, right. but really you don't got a clue. Look at this. I'm taking off my shoe. <laughs> Yo. Yo, I'm eating too much. That's... Something I should issue. Hey, ducks quack and cows go moo. Mmm. Me too. <laughs> That's a hashtag though. Unrelated. And it's and blue. a bad one though. I don't, I, you don't know. It's kinda eh. It's kind of a bro. Hey, look at that light. It likes to glow. Oh, we spinning on the globe. Uh we making it through the show. Uh, mm. We're wearing these like the robes. Ooh. Uh, something Toblerone. Ooh. Man. Ooh. 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 Talk about Ghirardelli chocolate. You know, we never drop it because, you know, we always stop it. I don't know how to bop put, it. Put me in the mosh pit. Ooh. Ooh. Put me in the mosh pit. Put me in the coffin. Hey, these bars they ain't stopping. I'm wearing a sweater. Too much heat right here. It's call, getting kind of hot. You know, we never fear. Yo, call the fire department on us. Shout out to the best game in the world. Among Us. Because Among Us, we gotta say, hey, we just venting it out. But we ain't imposters. Yet we slay. Ooh, hey, yo. <laughs> actually, though. Bro, hey, take us seriously. Games we don't play. Mm, games we don't play. That's a fact. No kizzy. No kizzy. Cause you know we stay glizzy. Get da 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 na 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 na. We stay glizzy, glizzy like we Costco on these buns. Ooh. Uh, we go to church, but we don't see no nuns. Ooh. Uh, Cause Ooh. it's different. Cause the different denomination. Serves as a complication for the oh for the, shoot for you for the unification of the Christian nation. Ooh. Ooh. Dang, we spinning, we spinning hard. That's a fact. A. Hey. That's a bar in the car. Bars in the cars. Bars in the cars. Bars in the cars. Bars in the cars, dude. We just go off and off on them. This is our new segment. We talking about. I'm just talking like this because I don't know. What the shout? Mm. No, we, we just spin. We about. don't know if you enjoy this. Uh, a, hey, it's gay if you give a boy a kiss. <laughs> if you're a boy, though, boy on boy. Oh boy, a, hey, yo, this right here, it ain't no toy. Ooh. Yo, this gun. I mean, this this bottle loaded. That ain't no euphemism. A, hey, I just went to the house. A pastor, David Chisholm. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, this is... <laughs> you know, a little too carried away, but... Yeah, we're, we're, I guess we're just trying to make this a long podcast. Yeah. But maybe we should make this, like, a segment. Bars in the cars. Oh, bars in the car. One bar in the car. One... Bars in the you, cars. You, oh, <laughs> bars in the car. Bars in the car. Cars in the bars. A, you oh, get a bar. You get a bar. You get a bar. That's a we, sentence. Ooh. Uh, he making sentences, but we ain't no Oprahs, you know, we, 
we know, you know we Christians, but we ain't Jewish because we don't oh no kosher. <laughs> hey, kosher. Yo. hey yo. Two lines as an X. Hey, got the new chain that's a flex. Ooh. Hey, we pray because we respect the Lord above. Hey. Something rhymes with Lex Luthor. Uh, <laughs> he's bald. If this gets 20 likes, I'll go bald. <laughs> what am I saying? What am I saying? Hey, the big boys, we praying. We slaying. Because we are relating what we learned in the car to what we've been saying that did not make sense, but it should. You all hating. Hmm. Yeah, we behind the wheel, Colin and I, or rather, me and Colin. I don't even know how that works grammatically, but we be in the no, car. There's a bunny never. hopping, Ooh. very mad at me. What's up, bunny? El conejo en español. Si, si. Show, show. Show, show. It's a rap, yo. He's listening to our bars. Flow, flow. He got those ears up. He's listening. There he hop, hop, hop. Like the pod gonna drop, drop, drop. Ooh. I don't know if it's gonna drop on time, time, time. But I'm just trying to make this rhyme, rhyme, rhyme. We gotta get that time up. We gotta get that time down. Sometimes it can go long and long. But I don't know why I'm saying these words. Because it's just a waste of time. But we gotta make that rhyme. We gotta make it not sublime. Mm. Uh, yo, today I went to a restaurant. In my water, I squeeze some limes. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Hey, you know. Hey, yo, Stranger Things, that clock, it chimes. Ooh, you know, we went to Ralph's but couldn't find no prime. prime. <laughs> hey, yo. So it's a little too sweet for the taste of mine. Ooh. Uh, right now, call me a mime, except I'm talking. Hey, yo, walk across the street like I'm stalking. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> right now we just stopped talking. Ooh. Ooh. Yo, but that bunny though, it can't stop gawking at Ooh. these bars, you know, they're too supreme, you know. <sighs> My breath is running out. It's getting a little too slow because this conversation's a little too crucial. It ain't trivial or frivolous. Instead it's rather marvelous. Minus the OUS, that's Marvel. It's a pretty lame franchise. Mm. Uh, yeah, because now we ain't in it for a surprise. Mm. Or should I say surprise? That's how you spell it, I think. Uh, the stuff he's wearing right now, there's a little bit of pink. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the bars that bro, we... That's like a whole up. song. That's a whole bro, song. For real. It's a whole song. A couple bars call me a prison right there. Ooh. Uh huh. Call me a prison. Or better yet, a jail. Shout out to Kanye. We know he means whale, but it's kind of a little sus lately. <laughs> like among us. <laughs> among us in the car. We taking it far. Just like we taking this pod far. We in the car. Taking it back to the roots behind the wheel. And that's all I got in this 10 minute spiel. Ooh. This ain't no, no ordinary ordeal. Bro, it's supposed to Not end like just now. <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal, O'Neal, the shirts. The shirts, the clothes. The clothes, the robes. Just like we said before, we got it all for show. The North Face, this brand over here, uh, squirting the alcohol. We're in fear of it getting into our eyes but we ain't surprised and we said that five times before but we wanted to say it more <laughs> because we went to the beach and we couldn't stop saying sure sure because you were at the shore we were at the shore we could not ignore all the crabs on the coast there were just so much more than we anticipated we were pretty elated uh rest in peace though to the homies so they would be missed greatly because they were very sad. I don't know. <laughs> what do I say? 
Bro, we literally crushed some crabs. Well, it wasn't me. Cru oh, you guys like, killed we, crabs? Like, like, it wasn't me, but like someone killed a crab. Like they were just tossing it. I could picture Ronnie. It wasn't. Well, yo, did you see Ronnie? No. 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 He, he said he's he like he was like oh right. I'm in Deerfield and he's like oh actually I'm leaving I'm like bro right. <laughs> like I was gonna visit him but yo we we should get along with Noah but when I DM him he's a no showa just like someone over here uh he ig Noah ignore ignoring uh this podcast getting a little boring <sighs> the audience is snoring Ooh. uh. Tunnel boring, just like I said before. We gotta put a cap on this show, like a Glock on the 805. Is that a freeway? Clock. I can't deny the clock. The clock is ticking. Hey, these bars are sticking to your brains. It's insane because you know that we ain't lame, but we walking now because we showing how we think about our processes and. We're thinking about the nuts of these. <laughs> okay, I think we should wrap this segment up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> if you if you skip through that or something, then you probably won't know this keyword. But just say hashtag bars, okay? <laughs> hashtag bars. B A R Z Z Z Z. Okay. <laughs> What's our closing? Uh -huh. Oh, really quick, dude. Wendy's. Wendy's. Guess what new uh, menu item they have? What? Yes. Uh, it's pretty cool. Is it? I can name it down. Something has, to do with potatoes. No, it has something to do with the frosty. Oh, strawberry frosty, right? Dude, I try. I tried it. Is it good? It's over. It's overrated. It's not that good. Too sweet. Is it, dude, I'm excited to try it though. Like, it's, is it better than right. is it better I mean, than chocolate? No, <laughs> probably about the same. There's like just, better than vanilla. They're all probably the same, bro. What? It's just like just stra. It's just stra. Like, think about like a strawberry milkshake from In and Out. It's like that, a little bit worse. Lower than that. Mm. They're both like too sweet, you know. So. Not trying to throw shade at in and out, but you know, we're always in and out. Okay, never mind. I'm we always in and out. We always make a shout when we go to in and out because we don't pout, but we do though. Sometimes with the crew though. Uh, looking at the big shoes though, we got the vans on, on your feet instead of off the wall. Uh, Ooh. trying to box now. Shout out to Jake Paul. Uh, <laughs>, laughs and lols. Okay, uh, I'm putting up the shawl. For shawl, for y'all, and we ending this party now because I'm looking like a cow. <laughs> uh, but okay, what's a what's a closing statement? Thank though? you for watching. Subscribe, um, camp vlog out maybe on my channel. Uh, it's gonna be great. I don't know what's going on, but kind of seems like we ran out of things to talk about. But you know. Tacos are not tacoing about tacos. Tacos, a eh, guacos, a eh, looking mighty guapo, a. Eh. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna stopo. Yay. Okay, hey, thanks for <laughs> thanks for watching. Sorry for dealing with that. If you have to deal with it, <laughs> uh, like, comment, subscribe. We need some more topics to talk about. And if you comment down below, we might very well look at your comments. Maybe give you a little shout out too. That'd be great. And thank you again for just being on the podcast finally and providing the light. I think that was very helpful. Yes, sir. Yeah, but I will see you at camp on Tuesday. Uh, yes. Be there at 10. Be there at 10. That's what Pastor David said. We're departing at 11, but yeah. yeah you already know. I'm sure you signed everything, but I'm glad you're going. I got to do the camp form. Again, you got to do that. You got to get on that, but... I yeah. got the papers. You got the papers, and you'd be making that paper, too. Ooh. I mean, soon. Speaking of paper, I haven't got my... Oh, wait. Okay, wait. I actually, I actually have something to talk about, though. Real quick. Dude, I left my debit card in the ATM yesterday. Wells really? Fargo. Yeah. Like what Colin did? Yeah, like... Sorry, Colin, but... <laughs> yeah, like Colin did. But... 
like I was there and then when I remembered I went back like this was literally within one minute but I already like took the card in so like I'm getting a new card dude that's so stupid I know pretty dumb I was trying to check in a check like deposit a check and like it wouldn't accept it yeah what I had to do was I had to peel off like all the paper <laughs> so that's pretty dumb but yeah that's just my spiel and um be wiser okay be wise Yes. Closing statement. <laughs> More closing statements. Be wise. Uh, it's okay to disagree, but stand. You gotta stand for what you believe in. And if you really think you could make an impact on someone, then by all means, just elaborate like your stance. You know, and maybe that'll influence them. You may not think it will, but you never know if you plant the seed. That's true. Yeah. All right. God bless. I think this is officially the longest podcast. And it was honestly pretty short, like, in terms of how it felt. Dude, yeah, it, how did an hour go by Bro, so wait, fast? what time is it? Dude, it's midnight. Really? It's, really? <laughs> it's midnight. Yeah. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye.